Okay, so what we're going to do is fully restore this case. Let's start by taking it apart. Two screws, remove the panel. Two more screws on this side, slide the panel out. Now we'll take off the, to remove the front, you just pull it from the bottom, and that comes out. Look how filthy that is. Look at all that dust, dirt and grime in there. This case has just been sitting there. So what we're going to do is completely restore it and even change the color of it. Okay. Look how dirty it is. Okay. And look at that. <laughs> look at all that dirt grime building up. Look how much dust there is on this thing. That is shocking. So in order to fully restore this, what we need to do is remove everything. Remove everything completely so that we can start to restore it. Keep all your screws, don't forget that loser. Okay, look at that fan. Look how dirty that is. Don't even know if these fans are still usable, but if they are, we can use them. The last thing we're going to do is remove all these electrical connectors. Take this out, take that out. Wiggle it out, it will unplug, here we go, same for this, unplug it, and now we need to remove this, so there's one, two, three screws I can see, so we'll remove these three, and this should come up, there we go, now we can actually pull all these cables out. First we'll take out the USB 3.0 because it's connected to this one part. Make that nice and flat and then it will come through just like that. And now we can take the rest of the cables out. Now to remove this, I believe you just clip on it and then you lift it straight up and that's it. That's how you remove that. That's your power reset. And lastly, our USB. And we're done. Look at that. The entire case completely taken apart. Now we just have to give it a nice clean. So I'm going to use a pressure washer to make it nice and easy. Nice and clean. Let's make sure we get all areas. We'll put that aside. All our parts nice and clean. I'm going to have to take it completely apart and just leave the mesh and these bezel parts and then I'm going to respray the entire case. <laughs> Remove the other one, you just pry this up. So when you have a look at it, you can see that you have a tab here with a hole. That clips into this part here, so you separate it here 
you separate it there so that you can pry it out if you have trouble just use like a plastic trim removal tool and guide it along it and it will pop out quite easily we remove the buttons they're clipped in so what you want to do here is simply pry these out and they will slide out pry them towards the center and push it in like this and then it pops out do the same to this one pry towards the center and push it in there we go and it pops right out same goes for your little light here just push it through as you can see here they just used a dollop of um, glue and that's all that holds that in the front cover we need to disassemble this as well it's just a few screws Should just come apart actually so we'll separate it here there we go just keep everything together these are the things that we don't need to spray so we'll put that aside majority of it's dry now we just really wanted to make sure we got all the water out of the nooks and crannies <laughs> we need to also remove this piece here it is actually glued in so what we need to do is uh, push it out and make sure it doesn't break so we have clips here one two four all together push it towards the center and push it out okay so we'll separate it from this side now the reason why i'm doing it this way is so i don't scratch any of the surface that you can see okay so here we go we've got to separate it here a bit now at least we got it started now we can uh, just follow on through ah it broke Right, so we broke it in one spot here but that's all right because we'll just glue it back together we'll follow it along hopefully nothing else breaks if you don't stay close to the edge most likely it's going to break all right there we go finally we got it all out in one piece all that's left is to simply remove that acrylic panel right there you want to make sure they're on a, like a uh, 90 degree bend so they can slide out nice and easily to allow the acrylic panel to come out push this acrylic panel out there we go and we can remove that we're just going to clean it with some uh, contact cleaner just to get it nice and clean beautiful now we'll give the rest of these parts a quick wash as well I mean look how dirty these fans are look at all that dust let's just clean all that off we'll hold the fan in place so it doesn't spin okay so next we're going to sand all the pieces that we're going to spray so obviously just some sandpaper now I like to go with um, a little bit coarser sandpaper and then after that you go to a little bit finer that way your scratches aren't so deep and they don't show so just uh, give it a nice sand everywhere that you are going to spray it okay inside here is not going to matter because it's inside but all these surfaces here that's going to matter now inside the bezel here that's not going to matter as well as with the mesh will sit there and the surrounding bezel for the mesh is going to sit there as well so you just want to make sure we give it a good sand on all the surface now don't go crazy to the point where you know you start to remove 
chunks out of the uh, plastic because after all it is plastic now if it was metal that's a bit different like the side like the side covers that's metal so for that we're going to use a machine that way it's a lot faster okay and uh, yeah basically you just want to take it back a little bit so that the paint has something to stick on because the gloss surface before the paint won't stick to it that well and then we can get into the next step all the places you think you might have missed because the DA polisher couldn't get to it like here just uh, go over it again now to do this one now this is going to be a lot easier because it's completely flat so first thing we will start with the side okay. Okay, now that side's done. Now all we have to do is basically do this whole surface. Completely sanded, ready for a coat of paint. Use soapy water so it gets rid of most of the dust if uh, you've left any over from when you sanded it. Yeah, I'll just wipe all that off now and we'll repeat the process for the rest of it, okay? Wet it, soapy water. so dry it literally just slides off now I'll give everything a very nice light coat I put this box here because the wind's blowing this way okay make sure the surface is nice and dry from debris That's my okay that's one layer Spread all the sides, make sure we cover all of it. Now we'll go this way so we cover everything. Alright, get the edges. There we go. Overlapping it as we go so we don't miss anything. it's already dried I can see it's already dried very good get the edges mm, beautiful okay now we just wait for it to dry and uh, after it dries we'll come back and we'll give it another layer that's actually a really nice layer it's uh, really flat and it looks really good so um, we'll continue to give it another layer now
No, I'm no professional, but uh, I think that looks pretty good actually. Last layer. All done. It actually looks really nice. Wow. I'm very, really impressed with the way that came up. Like, look, I know it's not perfect, but it's definitely better than it was before. And that's all you really want. A case that you can present to somebody and they will say it looks all right. That's what's most important. So yeah, very happy with the results. And I think we can start putting this case back together now and finally building it. All right, so now that we have all the parts clean, ready to go, what we're going to do now is start to reassemble everything so that we can put this case back together, ready for a fresh build. Here we go. Alrighties, so far so good and that one now is back together. This, these are the hinges. They sit in like, like this. Okay. They sit in like that and you line up these three holes for both of them. It goes in like this so that your three holes line up like so. And then you simply just screw them down. Okay, there we go. That's securely back in. We'll put these two in back later. Let's just get it back together first. We need to put this back together quickly. It goes over the top like so. And then we just simply put our screws back in. Okay, so in order to get the hinges back on, that's all you're really doing. You just line it up. It will sit in because you have a part of the hinge of, of this bit that sits inside it. And then after that, you just simply line this up and it will sit right in. And then you just line up your hinge and screw it in. There you go. And then that's our hinges back in. So, you know, just like I showed you, you put the hinge over the top and you put the two screws in, do the same to the other side. And then you grab your hinge here on this side and you just push it straight through. And that just simply pushes straight in from this side. You just have to push it in. That's it. Now we can install our bezels it just simply sits in like that and then you put in your two screws on this side okay there we go that's the bezel in now we've got to get this in okay just like this and slide that in turn it and there we go all right that's in now we can start by putting in all the pieces here when you put this in you have to make sure it goes the same way which is like that push it in and it will clip into place like that and we put our buttons back in it only goes in one way and then we'll push it in and that's it that's in and now same for this and push it in and there's our button back in there we go perfect One goes up here to hold that in. Everything back together, ready to go. So we're going to super glue this down because we don't really have to worry about removing it ever again. We'll hold this level so the glue doesn't go anywhere else. Okay. Some glue all the way around. Hold it down, stick it on. Make sure that glue has a really good bond. This is super glue, Loctite super glue, so it dries really quick and uh, it's really strong. Okay, very good. And we're going to run all the cables back in. 
What we're going to do is plug everything back in first and then from there we will route everything back together. Okay, it's going to go like this. So these cables will start to go inside here and we'll just get the, the bulk of it in first so we can, uh, we can screw down our panel. Okay, guide it in. Route your other cables as well. This has a fan controller. This is the power for it and that plugs in here. And lastly, for your fans. So you can plug up to seven fans all at once to control the speed of them. So that's really cool. That's basically every single fan for this case. And what I've done is I've just routed it from the bottom because if you route it the other way, you have to push all these cables through. So you now it's easy to just push up this one cable. There are one, two, three screws to hold it down on this side. Screw it down. Our power on and off switch and our reset switch. Make sure it all goes through this little hole. Then you simply line it up and push it down. That's it. That is perfect. Beautiful. So you just follow your grooves and then put it back in, like so. Okay. You see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my God, look how much storage you have, guys. This is a pretty decent case, really. Can't complain with that much storage, really. We just have to put this acrylic panel back into its slot. Line it up. You have all these little tabs here. They have to sit into the grooves. Once all that's lined up, bend it back down so it holds the acrylic in place. There we go. Just have to give it a nice clean and uh, we're pretty much good. I'm gonna put the fans back in because I decided that I'm just gonna use for this build RGB fans, so I don't need it. Now we'll reinstall our 5.25 panels. You just simply push it in like that and it will clip into place. Missing one because there was a DVD drive installed, ready to go. The NZXT Phantom 410 completely refurbished. What do you reckon guys? Not bad at all. I mean, from what it was previously to what it looks like now, that is a massive improvement. And that matte black finish just gives it that touch. You know, it makes it unique and very appealing. And I like how now we have that contrast of gloss black with matte black. That looks really nice. So there you have it guys. How to restore a case and basically bring it back to life. And if you're wondering, I will be doing a full PC build into this case as well. So be sure to stay tuned for that video.